Hello YouTube and fellow portable hams. My name is Steve, AD4XT, and welcome to the channel. Uh, went portable operating this weekend. We camped and operated in the CQ160 contest uh, with a couple of friends, uh, Steve, KM4SLW, and Randy, WX4RDM, and also Richard came out and helped us with uh, putting this antenna up. Uh, why portable in 160? Well, it's an awfully big antenna and you need a lot of space to put it up. We uh, erected a full wave loop on 160 that was about 560 foot is what we had. Uh, and we put, had several pine trees to put it in so we got it as high as possible. I shot a few uh, video clips so uh, hey uh, Tag along and, and see what we did. Uh, did a few things right and <laughs> a few things wrong and after a few hours we got the antenna up but it was uh, well worth it once we got into the operating and we'll, we'll show you a little bit of that too. Come on let's follow along. Some tools of the trade here for getting your antenna wire high in the top of a tree. What I use is basic uh, open face spinning reel and an egg sinker that's a uh, half ounce and I've got it dialed in with 12 pound test line it enables my uh, cheap slingshot to get it as high as I need to plenty of paracord and my secret weapon here is real magic fishermen kind of know what that stuff does lubricates that fishing line and gets you on up even higher okay they are that is the tools of the trade for slingshotting it up this is going to be my second target anchor point uh, about a 85 90 foot pine tree and I hope to get a line over the top of it so here goes No pressure. Man! I think it's a short. I don't think so. See where it drops. We went over top of that tree. That's about, your, that's about where yours last one was. Yeah, let's go with it. All right, we'll take that. Anchor point number three. This is what happens to your paracord when you have a malfunction. Uh, <laughs> We had enough off the spool before the spool just came completely apart. And uh, that's corner number three of this loop and we are not going to spend time with this. That's the job for tomorrow. This is the, this is the bird's eye view of Mr. Slingshot. I don't know. Let's go take a look at it. Okay, I'm standing on one corner of our four corner loop. Richard's down there walking into the woods to get the paracord on that corner. And we're in the middle of a hundred yard range, so we've got plenty of room. Randy is down there on that corner. And the main corner is Steve right there. And that's where the four to one balance is going up. And then we'll put the tent to where it will reach. All right, let's give it a let's give it a hoist. Okay, I'm on my corner. Are we going up? Yep. And you can actually you can actually walk out in the field with with your cord as you pull it, so you can see so we can see each other. Randy, come on out into the range where we can see you. I mean, uh, Richard. Okay. Under a big pine cone. I'm 
pine cone. I could get them another 15, 20 foot. But I think that pine cone's got to break. It can't be that strong. Okay, we've got the tent set up. We're a little bit longer in the afternoon than we start, thought we would be. But tent's up. The uh, four-wave loop is up. Let's see if I can get it into focus here. We've got our ballon right there. That's the corner number one. And it goes all the way. Corner two, and then goes to corner three, which is somewhere in that area, and back over to corner four, which is right over the top of that tree limb here. Corner four, then back to the balance. Got a four to one and got it plugged in. We got to put some dinner on here shortly. But we have the radio working, getting the computer login set up. We'll be ready to go here in just another hour or so. Okay, this is our setup inside the tent. We've been working the contest for a few hours now. And uh, let's make a few more. Thank you. Good evening. Kilowatt 5 Golf November. QRZ. Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. Alpha Echo 4 X ray Tango. 59 Texas. That's Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. Thank you. Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. 59 Texas. Roger, Roger. 59 Georgia Golf Alpha. Thank you. Kilowatt 5 Golf November. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. Again, again, Tango. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. Okay, Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango, 5-9 Arizona. Roger, Roger, thanks for the new one. You're 5-9 in Georgia, Golf Alpha. Arizona, Georgia, thank you. QRZ, Norway 7, Tokyo, Norway 7 Tango. Thanks, November 4 X-ray Delta. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. Roger, you're 5 9 in Georgia, Golf Alpha. Thanks, November 4 X ray Delta. Thank you, Custis. Thank you, Custis. November Alpha in Victoria, Custis. Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. Uh, Delta 4 X ray Tango, 5 9 Michigan. I think it's Alpha Delta 4. QSL, Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. You are 5 9 in Georgia, Golf Alpha. Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. Roger, Roger, you're 5 9 Georgia, Golf Alpha. For Radio Oscar. Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. Roger, Roger, you're 5 9 in Georgia, Golf Alpha. Is that a new state? Yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty cold night for Georgia. Got down around 32 last night, and uh, Mr. Buddy Heater was in full force. And look how many propane bottles we used. Eight propane bottles. So, yeah, we kept the fire burning, but in a tent, it goes right out the roof. Okay, we're at the very end of the 160 contest out here portable at the range and uh, everything's packed up ready to take it home we uh, finished with about 155 contacts with the uh, full wave loop on 160 uh, Steve you got any thoughts on how it went? Well, I just need to tweak the antenna a little bit it was a little bit long but the tuner took care of it yeah and uh, what you think Randy any 
just keeping warm at night and keeping warm at night. Yeah. You, he brought a camper up here while we slept in a tent <laughs> at 32 degrees. Yeah. I think, we've worked I on think I'm going to be kicked out the next time I come yeah. up. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it wasn't too bad with the, with the gas heater going. Yeah, we had gas heaters and, uh, like I showed you before, eight propane bottles. So that's it. And uh, uh, thanks to Richard also, he came out and helped us uh, put up the antenna. It took, uh, it took a, every bit of, how long did, would you say it took? Three hours. About three hours putting it up, and that was with four people. So... Uh, it was a big undertaking, but it was a lot of fun. Full wave loop. It uh, worked really well. Uh, try one sometime and uh, get in these contests portable. It's a lot of fun. All right. Uh, till next time, 84XT. WX4RDM Randy. KM4SLW. We'll see you the next time on Taking It Portable. <laughs>